Thanks for joining me on my next video. Please uh, subscribe to my channel. It helps me make more videos. So today I'll be changing the filter on an April Air Media Air Cleaner, model number 2200. So before I start, I'm just going to turn off my furnace and simply just uh, pry off the cover. And I just want to point out, as you can see, the direction of the arrows on the case pointing towards the furnace from the cold air return. This is the cold air return. So just grab the handle and pull it out. And if you'll notice here, there's a track on the case. So this track actually, it can only go in one way anyway. So as you can see, there's a little metal thing here and that's what's going to slide into this track. So you can't make a mistake putting the filter in the wrong way. So I'm gonna to proceed to remove the filter and change it. So now I'm just going to open up the, uh, the case. There's these flaps on the side here. There's two on this side and then two on the other side. Just flip them up. They're plastic, not much needed, not much force needed to open them up. And just flop the sides down, flip the sides down. As you can see, my insulation is not pink, which is the original one. I had to replace it. So in case you're wondering why mine's a different color, that's the reason. Now there's these five plastic pieces here that you need to remove. That's what keeps the, uh, the, the filter, the fan fold filter separated. So it's just clipped in, you can just pry them up. So just remove all five. It's not as difficult to do as it seems. Um, just, just, I'm using one hand so it's a little bit harder. Okay, now once you remove these five plastic fins here, whatever you want to call them, you're going to flip open the plastic on this end here. You're just going to kind of just raise it up like that. It just clips on them and do the same on the other side. And to remove the fan, the uh, sorry, the filter, just lift it up. As you can see, there's these little tabs here. That's where the folded part of the end just kind of see how it's got a hole here just slips over that and that's what secures it nicely. So I'm going to remove it here and remove it on this side as well. Here's the old filter. It's quite dirty. I did blow it out once but I hate being cheap and not replacing things and I've got a new furnace so it's very important to keep your filters clean so your furnace doesn't work too hard and keeps your house clean as well. So what I've got here is a replacement one. I did not buy aftermarket, I actually bought the original April Air air filter. They are a bit expensive. As you can see it says, it says Fitz models 2200 and 2250. And this is a Merv 10 and you don't want to go too high because the higher the MERV, obviously the better filtration, but you also have to remember that it'll starve your furnace for air as well. So when it's trying to suck, it's going to have a lot harder time trying to grab the air through the cold air return. So don't go too high and uh, enough to keep your house, I guess, uh, clean. Nothing's perfect, but so here's the replacement filter. As you can see, this is nice and new. It's white compared to the old one. I'll just put it side by side so you can see. There's the old one. You can see it's quite, uh, quite dirty. And here's the new one. Big difference. So same filter. It's got the, uh, the ends here. Okay, I'm going to try to do this here with one hand. Bear with me. All right, so here's the little thing I was referring to. You kind of just put that, get that over here on this side. I'll put the camera down slightly and put it in and I'll show you. So as you can see, I just basically slip that over the little clip here. And I'm gonna do the same for this side. Hopefully I can do it with one hand now that the other side's in. Kind of looking through the my phone to try to do this. Okay, that got in. So I'm gonna do the other side as well, off camera. 
So I've got the other side in as well. Now that it's in, I'm just going to clip this back down. That's it. That's how it goes. Just clip it down. Okay. And I'll clip this side down as well. Okay, now that it's clipped, here's a little tricky part. You want to kind of just separate these slightly and try to even them out. But if you work your way from the middle, it'll probably be a lot easier. So getting the fins in, you guys got to make sure that you put one on each side. So I'm going to try to do this with one hand. As you can see, it gets a little tricky. Okay, so I actually did it off camera with two hands. So now, as you can see, it's pretty much one of the pleats is between each one of these, uh, these plastic fins here. Now, once you've got that in, once you've got the first one in, basically, as I mentioned before, the next are going to be a breeze. So just clip them back in. You'll see that they just clip into these little places here. There's five of them. Two, three four and there's a fifth so just make sure you put it over it and just clip it down so as i mentioned once you've got the first one in the other one you can just pretty much just put right up against it and it slides in perfectly so now you've got this one that's the second one i'm going for the third and you can see how fast they go in once you've got the first one in I'm going to clip these in. Clip them on this side. Okay, now that that's all clipped in, just bring the side back up. Clip that in place. The same on this side. Put that, turn it around, do the same here, same here, voila, that's what it looks like, nicely pleated, okay, and this is pretty much ready to go back in, and here's the arrow, so I'm going to put it this way. Uh, one thing I do recommend is, uh, I'm going to do this, but off camera, is just clean inside, vacuum it. So I'm going to vacuum inside here, the cold air return, apologize you can't see in there. Let me see if I can turn the flash on. Okay, so I've turned the flash on. There's a bit of dust in here. You can also see the direction of the arrow on the, the outside frame of the unit, showing you which way the filter should go. I'm going to clean inside here a little bit. It's not too dirty, but I am going to uh, vacuum a little bit. It's not too bad. So I'm going to vacuum it before I put it back in but for the purpose of this video I'm just going to show you how it goes back in as I indicated earlier here's the metal piece the track that is going to fit onto this here's the direction of the arrow on the front of the unit which corresponds to the direction of the arrow inside the frame so he's going to basically put this back in and push it in there you go put your cover back on I will tell you that over time, the clips on this cover have actually broken on me, so they're not as good as they used to be. So there it is. Don't forget to power your furnace back on. And that's about it. That's how you change the filter on an April Air Media Air Clean Air Model 2200. Hope you enjoyed the video. Any comments, suggestions, please leave them. And as I indicated, please uh, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. Thank you.